Now, as Lee Nation prepares to bleed blue and avoid the blues of another soul-crushing season, a local author has condensed the last 55 years into a single volume called The Complete History of Toronto Maple Leafs Championships in the Last Six Decades. And here with more on Toronto's chip trip without a sip is Stan Lee Slump. Stan, I will uh, let uh, the pseudo fans decipher your pseudonym, and I thank you for joining us this morning. Well, good morning, George. Are you all pumped for the start of the 55th season? I am. On the Stanley Cup? I am. Look, uh, are you a blue bleeding Leafs fan? Just curious. Well, Stanley Slump is a sports fan with a soft spot for the Toronto Maple <laughs> Leafs. That's why I wore my hat, Leafs hat this morning. And a boy, okay, let's push some paper, Stan. The only way to really understand a book is to read it, but this is TV. So, so how do you describe the book to people? Well, the book is a novelty book that is, um, uh, contains the history of the Leafs championships in the last six decades. And the record for the championship during that period of time speaks for itself. And <laughs> there's not much more that one can add. <laughs> After the facts. Look, there's novelty and there's levity, but there is also... As a Leafs fan, you know there's nausea and there's loathing <laughs> over the, you know, the the cup drought. Is this book equal parts maybe theater and therapy too? Well, you know, we on, on uh, Stan Slump's Twitter account, we took a poll and we asked the question, is this a book for, as a tribute to Leafs fans or is it a book for uh, Leafs detractors? And 64% of the people said that this is a tribute to Leafs fans, and only 36% said it was hmm. a book for Leafs detractors. Yeah, you have a lot of stats. Uh, they're, the, they're the ones that make me quite sad. I'm not even going to bother sharing them that you, that you let into this with the press release. I want to know, like you talk to people all the time about the Leafs and, you know, this, this uh, run of mediocrity. Uh, you know, what do you attribute it to, uh, uh, Stan? Is it ownership, management? Is it the coaching, players? ticket prices, what is it? Well, in doing the research for the book, George, I came up with a different theory. Mm. And that's called the Mayor's Jinx. <laughs> on, on May 5, 1967, at the Stanley Cup Celebration City Hall, the mayor at the time, William Dennison, said in his speech to the players that the Stanley Cup receptions at City Hall had become a tradition in Toronto. Well, oh. as soon as he said that, that was the end of the tradition, and we haven't had one since. Look, I want to know, there, there's also curses. There's many of them. Do you believe in these curses? Uh, I don't believe that, that there's one single curse that uh, is responsible for this all, but there is the uh, Carlton Street curse, there's the blue and white disease, and uh, <laughs> as I said, there's the mayor's jinx. So look... If and when the Leafs finally win a cup, hopefully in our lifetime, I want to know this, Stan, are these empty pages suddenly going to sort of self-scribe and write themselves, or are you personally going to handwrite a, a sort of revised edition for anybody that, that buys it? <laughs> well, uh, if the Leafs finally win the Stanley Cup, how about this, George? I come back on the show, I bring a book, and we put it through the shredder. <laughs> <laughs> Look... Watching last season, you know, all the promise, and it was a tough year because of the pandemic, and they had such a great regular season. I know the, the divisions were all, you know, skewed. But that, you know, look, we've had five years consecutive now of extra disappointment, even for Lee fans. But what, you know, what did you take away from the end of that result against the Habs? Well, when you look back the last five years, uh, three of those uh, first-round playoff series were decided in the seventh game. But um, and the other one against the Columbus Blue Jackets was decided in the fifth game, which yeah. was also the last game in the series. So it's really been a tough stretch for the Maple Leafs fans, but hopefully they'll turn the page this year and uh, put an end to this drought. That's the attitude. Toronto Maple Leafs championships in the last six decades, the complete history of Toronto Maple Leafs championships in the last six decades. It's available now on Amazon, Indigo, uh, or stanslump.com, and it's also out there on YouTube, right? There's a little trailer? There's a book trailer on YouTube to give uh, people a sneak peek at the book. Stanley Slump, it's been a pleasure. I hope the next time we talk, it's, uh, it's a whole encyclopedia of the 2021-22 wow. season. Look forward to it, The enjoy. glory season. Sam, thanks very much. All right, uh, back to Nick now. <laughs> uh, great conversation there, George. <laughs> thanks so much. Coming up, we've got Patty Leverita after the break. Because